Hi, DPS fifth graders. We are here for lesson three regarding our essential question. How do myths, folktales, and legends convey ideas about human nature? Today's learning target is I can compare and contrast characters within a story and draw on specific details from the text to support my claims. Remember to pause and rewind as you need so that way you can have appropriate understanding. And of course, make sure that you have something to write on and write with. All right, so we know that we read to learn, and when we're reading myths, folktales, and legends, we're reading to learn that theme or central message that the story imparts upon us. Today, we're going to be reading an Aesop's fable entitled The Lion and the Mouse, and we're going to be reading to compare and contrast the characters. Aesop was from uh, the Black Sea region of Greece, which is shown right there. All right, so here is our fable, The Lion and the Mouse. You're probably familiar with it. Go ahead and pause and read it, and then come on back to us after you have read it. All right, so we should have right in. We're going to jump right into our learning target today. Remember, we're comparing and contrasting. Remember that comparing means what do characters or things have the same or in common, excuse me, in contrast. Oop, I'm writing contrast again. Contrast is how are they different, okay? So we're thinking about how are these characters the same? How are they different? And of course, using our text to back that up. All right, so looking through here, how are some ways that they're the same? Well, I know that they're both animals because they're both the lion and the mouse. Um, I also know that they're both in the forest because everything is happening in the forest. There's not really much else that they have in common, so let's go ahead and reflect that. So they're both animals, they live in a forest. Um, they both encounter trouble as well. That's a good one as well because remember, we're living in... Um, even though I say that they live in the forest, I need to go ahead and pull that text detail as well. How do they both encounter trouble? Well, one is that the lion lays his huge paw on her, on the mouse, and the lion's also caught in the toils with the trouble, like all of the rope in that hunter's net. net excuse me. All right, so now that we've compared them, let's go ahead and contrast them. All right, so looking again, what are some ways that they're different? Well, let's start with the lion. Well, the lion is, of course, a big animal, a much bigger animal uh, than the mouse. We talked about his great head and his, where does it say about his roaring, angry roaring. Um, also, the lion does not share the same ideals as the mouse, right? The lion doesn't think that a small creature could ever help him. So, let's go ahead and reflect that. So, the lion's a large and powerful creature. And we have that quote as well. The Lassies does not believe that the smaller and the weaker can help the strong. It talks about how he's very much amused to think that a mouse could ever help him. So now that we found how the lion is different, let's go ahead and switch to the mouse. Well, just like the lion is big, the mouse is little. Um, also, the mouse does think, right? The mouse knows that someday that he'll be able to repay. And he does that as well, right? So she gnaws at that rope until the rope breaks and then soon the lion is free. So they have a difference of opinion right there and that's shown in our graphic organizer as well, backed up by our text details. All right, so go ahead and pause and rewind as you need to make sure that you have full understanding of this. When you're ready, you can go ahead and progress to your assignment. You're gonna be reading a folk tale from India called The Two Travelers. Um, so remember India is right there on our map from Google. And right there. Um, so go ahead and complete this graphic organizer for your assignment. It's just like the one from Lion and the Mouse. The graphic organizer and the text can be found on the next page of your Canvas module, so go ahead and head on over.